Welcome back, guys. And girls. Trying to think if maybe I'm going to do uh, the missing link now. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. You seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not. Except for the typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us, so we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is, but Taggart will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. Establishing security system. Ooh. Oh god. Mr. Jensen. The fuck was that? Seen the footage, but that shit could be doctored. You wait for them. Training exercises for augmented soldiers? You okay, sweetheart? Oh, I'm a little shaken up, but I'm just glad we got off the street. I almost shit myself when that group of cops came away.
Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Taggart will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Everything seems to be under control in the convention center. And Taggart? He's... God damn it, what the hell? Minutes ago, Sao Yun Ru, CEO of the Taiyong Medical Corporation, commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. This company prides itself on maintaining a safe environment and an ethical approach to research at all times. Access granted. This is Eliza Seraph, Sandoval's in Detroit. Hold up in some apartment building on Grand River Road. I'm heading there now. All right. But Adam, you think Taggart's involved? There's no hard evidence yet to prove it. Too bad. But you know there could be. 
If you upload that data recording you got in Montreal onto his computer... You're asking me to frame him? We could lose everything, Adam, given the mood out there. We may have to get our hands dirty to fix it. What, you got a problem with that? No problem at all. Good. Sarah Felt. I never will condone these experiments. This company prides itself on me. What are you doing here? I know everyone's involved with the riots. I'm telling you, I need them down here now. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? Uh, I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on riot control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... Damn it. Look, something big is going down, and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kinda busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place. But nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You've got to help me find Jacob. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I do not like doing bomb missions. I'm sorry, Nick, but I'm not a cop anymore. Jensen, please. I know you traded in your back. Sorry, buddy.
You sure you closed the door? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I did. What do you think I am? An idiot? You're not gonna make me answer that, are you? right here but ah sneaky sneaky are we Pritchard looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker I'm gonna flush him out let's hope he's still there Wow, I don't have any grenades for once. Wait, hold up. Where are we? Hold on, I'm so lost. I'm gonna test up on. Thing isn't the greatest idea right now. 
And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarah's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So tell your side of the story to the press. Swear at your trial that you're a better person than him. You want a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis? Every camera in the country is going to be pointed at you. Use it to make a case. Convince people. Bill Taggart already controls public opinion. You can try to lift my spirit all you want, Mr. Jensen, but the facts don't change. My whole life, all I ever wanted to do was help people. But as a doctor, I couldn't heal those who'd already replaced their natural body parts. So I joined Humanity Front. But we weren't making any progress. Those scientists represented my last chance at having a meaningful life, and I failed! I hear what you're saying. You care too much. I know what that's like. Too well. Because I've been there. You want to fix everything right away. You want it so much, you start trying too hard. Trust me, if you deal with the smaller, easier stuff first, the big things don't look so big. On the other hand, if you break an infinite problem into smaller pieces, you still have an infinite number of pieces to contend with. Ever since the kidnapping, I've been haunted, knowing I'm partly responsible for innocent people losing their lives. The shame I feel. The guilt. I'm a mass murderer. I can't even look my wife in the eyes knowing that. 
I have destroyed everything. We all have problems, Sandoval. We all have something to atone for. You, me, even Taggart. Your wife will understand that, as will the rest of your family. They'd rather see you live and atone for what you've done than watch you die in shame. Whatever lies ahead, they aren't gonna let you face it alone. I wish I had your certainty, Mr. Jensen, but you are correct. For the sake of my family, I must give this another try. Take the gun. I don't need it anymore. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. They will find See you guys in the next part. Order.